Read this question. Try to do it yourself first. In the standard ISLM framework, if you introduce endogenous money supply, such as money supply depends positively on the nominal rate of interest, the corresponding LM curve. So imagine this. This is your usual money supply, and this is your demand for money. This is your interest rate. Now, when your income increases, the demand for money increases. So, the interest rate shoots up. The locus of these two points, income and interest rate, is your LM curve. So, this is point A. This is point B. Point A is some Y and some I. This is point A. And point B is when income increases interest rate is increasing this is point b and this is your lm curve okay now income i have taken like that only no point to show income so income i have just taken like that hmm. now suppose it says the question is saying that suppose let's say that your money supply curve that is positively dependent on the interest rate which means that your money supply curve it, that becomes upward sloping so your money supply curve is this this is your money supply curve not horizontal so where will be your new equilibrium? You will go from point A to only point B dash. Which means there will be increase in the interest rate by a lower amount. Only to I double dash. For the same increase in Y. Because the increase in Y shifts the, M, the demand curve. That is shifting by the same amount. But now interest rate is increasing by a lower amount. So interest rate is increasing only from I to I double dash. Initial point is the same. Point A is the same. But you go from A to B dash instead of A to B. So you go from A. Income is increasing by the same amount. But interest rate by a lower amount. B dash. This becomes your LM curve. So it is flatter right. As compared to the original LM curve. So this is flatter. Is this okay? So the LM curve becomes flatter. So the answer is B.